SGC here and we're back for comics time. First up. Satellite Falling. I read this a bit online in the previews and I was like, holy crap, this sci-fi premise thing. I dig it, love it. So I went and got it and I totally enjoyed it. And it's definitely a fun stuff and sexual stuff is interesting as well. Aliens changing sexes, back and forth sort of thing. You have your sort of, I don't know, angry protagonist with how things work and she just wants to do sort of the right thing and, and I mean what else is there to say? It was enjoyable, I loved it in the sense where it's new-ish in a fresh sense and the, um, I would say the monster designs are interesting, the tech design are also interesting and interesting, I would say this is interesting and I'm definitely, definitely cannot wait for the next issue. Southern Bastards 14 is up. Crazy stuff, Earl's daughter sort of see what she goes through as now that he's dead and that whole white n-word thing it's crazy the art normal great stuff dialogue great stuff and just this confrontation was just so iffy and just so so wow it, I mean it's reality I mean when your parents are like that the kid can't be that far off from their parents which is kind of sad in a sense because she 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 was nice, and, and it's just like, wow, this deep, hurting stuff. Good issue. Can't wait for the next one. Next up, Dark Vader 20. We have Silo on the loose, and Palpatine is like, we have to kill him. And then Vader meets up with Thanos, and wow, Thanos knows a lot of things. I mean, he's an inspector and all. I mean, overall, interesting turn of events now that Thanos is out of the picture. Where's Vader gonna go? And then also this great, just fun stuff, misadventures of, what is it? Misadventures, the misadventures of Triple Zero and BT. That was a fun raid. It was just fun to see how they worked and just, and it was great fun. So yeah, with all that said, can't wait for the next one. Kennel Block Blues 4 of 4, the last issue. Great ending, they escape and all that. Great art, great story in terms of just having four issues and building all these relationships and characters. And the cat dogs the rivalry love the colors really did enjoy it i love how it all popped some of the paneling and some of the pacing was just great and and this it was fun i mean just all these colors that pop are just really fun and definitely different from what uh ferrier ryan ferrier has been putting out before so i dug it dug it dug it so yeah can't wait for to see what the team's gonna come up with next or if they're gonna come up with anything though Ryan has come out with Hot Damn, and I'm not reading that, in a sense. Because it seems a bit too much like Dave, and I don't know. Enjoyed Colonel Block Blues a lot. And I think I just need to read more lighthearted stuff. Hot Damn's sort of not my style, sort of thing. Prophet Earth War number four, and I enjoyed it for what it is. I mean, it's, it's like I said, this will read better if it's fresh in your head rather than, you know, you read it months ago or whatever. But, I mean, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. The art, the changes in art is interesting. I mean, it's just a lot of action in this issue, which is great. And I think the last issue is issue five, so I can't wait for that one. See how that all wraps up and just profit is done. Wow, 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 wow. Next up, Guardians of the Galaxy number eight. Awesome. It is Venom and Groot together and... This is crazy. I really dug the Venom Groot because that was badass. The scrolls are cool. We get to know more of like why the team is split up in a sense. Though on an artistic front, I didn't really dig the fact that this splash is the same as the last one. I sort of wish they'd be changing something beyond just the dialogue. And and it's and it's, it's too bad that they didn't because it's ex literally exactly the same and. I hate it when they do that because it's just lazy, I sort of wish, not lazy in a sense, I know the whole comic stuff is, but it's just more enjoyable in a artistic value when they change stuff, like just change a pose or something to prove that you move, or to, not to prove, but just to show that you move, or time move, or whatever you, whatever, blah, 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 I can't speak, but all that said, I enjoyed the fights, the Venom and Groot was great, so beyond that, I mean, I still look forward to the next issue, so yeah. Shutter 21, it has been 21 issues, holy crap, it's been a long time coming. So now, 
always forget that the story so far is at the back, so let's just read that. I don't know. Whoa, whoa, this is tripping me out. Whoa. Guess not. But anyway, Sahora. Sahora. Ha, ha, ha. Sora, Sora came and told about told us about her story and stuff, and it's great fun to just learn more about the relationships and everything, and the history, and just what they went through. All in all, it's hard to sum up sometimes, but I enjoyed it. It builds to the story in a sense, and someone's coming back, so that's gonna be intense and insane. But overall, enjoy the art, enjoy the characters. It's, it's been a long time, and yeah, can't wait for the next one. Next up, we have Island Issue 7, and there's tons of stuff, so let's just fly through this, okay? Let's go to the credits page. So we got Kim Kish, who did the intro panels, or I mean not intro panels, but intro pages. Really dug the sort of style, alien sort of world and all that stuff, really enjoyed that. We got Johnny Christmas, back for Firebug. I really did enjoy Firebug. And it was just fun, and it's this world building, and it's just like crazy, and and it's like what what they're going through and all that. It's just like oh man, it's intense. It is intense. Really love the art. Really love the characters. Paneling, great stuff. And that ending is 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 it's intense. The ending is intense. Then we got a ramen boogie write up. I'm not very keen on these write up stuff. Um, so sorry. I mean, if you do read that stuff, it's great. Uh, Matt Sheen and Malachi Ward also came back with their mind reading type of thing titled Ancestor. It's part three of four, and yeah, it's, it's also nuts. This this was crazy. Like, the first two issues were, were great, and now it's just really whack, and, and I love it. Love the wackiness, and I can't wait for the next issue. And, and, and yeah, and then also we have another reading thing. More reading thing. I'm not very keen on reading short stories. I'm, but all in all, I mean, it's it's a good bang for your buck if you read everything. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But yeah, I enjoyed it. And I can't wait for the next one. As always, it's it's 8 bucks. It's hard to depart with your $8. But it, it, I feel like this is where comics needs to go. Like, where it's content, content, quality content, quality content, rather than ads and all that crap. And just setting up arcs and just these... Just, bleh. This is great stuff. Support this. Support this. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this week's comments time. Hope you like what you got because it's your money. And as always, if you have any comments, blah, 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 leave it down below. And I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And that is it for this week's comments time. Oh! <laughs>